if I may, I would like to just um, share a few little uh, thoughts that I had jotted down just before uh, hand, and um, and they relate to the fact that um, remember this: that the journey really hasn't started yet. It's like what Scott was sharing. We're we're still in the phase of of eating the lamb. Eating the lamb is the preparation for the journey, and um, and and that's why he's emphasizing that part because there's going to be no journey unless we eat the lamb. And um, so um, you know, there's a <clears throat> there's a virus going on worldwide, but going on in our world, and there's. Uh, uh, for us here in in this part of Texas, we've had rain and rain and rain and rain, more rain than they've had, uh, like the fifth most rain in history that we since recording weather here. <clears throat> um, and then we've got our own circumstances, our own problems, our own our own whether it be at home. Uh, with uh, kids or husband and wife or whatever or or within us and uh, I felt like the Lord had me just jot down some of these things so I wrote down Jesus is the sun and the sky everything else is just the weather he is the sun and the sky and everything else is just the weather and uh, Patience is not the ability to wait for the clouds to leave. Patience is to know the sun is always there. And then I wrote down, you don't want the wind to blow your house down yet. Because some of us are going, why is it, I'm not ready, or, you know. We don't want him to blow our house down yet, but to bring the calming breeze of the Holy Spirit first. Not panic. Not panic, but patience. None of us are there yet. The, the Lord knows the timing. We're not there yet. And I wrote, rushing into action, then you're going to fall. You're fail. Trying to grasp things, that's when you lose them. Forcing something to completion, you ruin what was about to turn ripe. Fruit comes. Fruit comes from small, regular doses of the true vine. From the vine life. Just, if you're a twig, just take in the life to the degree that you can and trust that those daily doses, no matter how small, are, have, are, are working toward the end of what he's got. Fruit comes from small, regular doses of the true vine. We must not respond immediately to a stimulus that comes our way, and that's connected with Jesus is the sun and sky and everything else is just the weather. Weather changes. Sun and sky doesn't. Weather blocks the sun and sky. But patience, patience isn't that the clouds leave. Patience is the sun is always there. And then um, talking about we must not respond immediately to a stimulus that comes our way because you live down here, there's the, all these things that come our way. So all these things daily, different things. Some good, some bad. Some not anything. We must learn to see, to accustom the eye, to allow things to unblur. Because a lot of times when they come, everything's blurred by the stimulus, by the circumstance, by the weather. They get blurred and instead of reacting. We wait for our eyes to clear and become unblurred. And that's what I said to accustom the eye to allow things to unblur. To do so 
to let that unblurring take place. To do so, you must defer judgment. In other words, don't judge everything so quick. Give the Lord a chance. Sometimes He takes us down to bring us up. Sometimes He brings a storm to bring something out of us, whether good or bad, so that it can be exposed. And this is, this is the work that's going on now. This is it. And I wrote that final couple of sentences here. You're not on the journey yet. For now, just eat the lamb piece by piece. We're at the meal table. We're at the table of the Lord, of the Father. Just eat pieces as you go. Don't try to gorge. Just eat pieces as you go. And then when the time comes, the vine life will fill your little twig and the journey will begin. Let's trust the Lord. Father, I thank you for, for what Scott shared. I thank you that the focus is, is correct. The focus, Lord, that we may eat the lamb, that we may, Father, take in more of the Son of your love, the Son of your love, the Son of your love. We ask you the, that you calm us. Lord, some are waiting for the wind to knock down our house so that, so that great things can happen. Father, may the breeze of the Holy Spirit come and bring calmness and patience as our hearts trust you, knowing if at this moment the weather is blocking your sky, your sun, Father, that in our hearts we know we have patience. We know he's there and he will appear. And we don't have to be panicky. Father, let the Spirit right now move upon your people, wherever they are, Lord, and in Holland, Father, the folks in Belgium and Ireland, the folks, Father, in many different states in this country, let your Spirit begin to fall upon them to trust in your, your guidance, your, your Spirit to be there for us right now, maybe in light ways to calm us, but soon to be in leading ways as the cloud and as the fire by night. We are together, Father, with this flock, this, this flock of yours at New Creation and all of those who gather to us, Father, on Skype. We're no faster than the slowest sheep. So we wait and we trust and we believe and we, we eat. We eat piece by piece. We drink sip by sip of the, of the life of the vine. And we trust that you will bring us to our intended end. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And for his glory. For his glory. Amen.